in Vienna, three Taylor Swift concerts were cancelled due to a confirmed terror threat. Austrian authorities have arrested a 19-year-old man for allegedly planning an Islamist attack. Joining me now with an update is Derek Scally, Berlin correspondent for the Irish Times. Derek, good morning. Good morning, Pat. This is obviously a very successful intelligence operation, but can you tell us how the story unfolded? The story unfolded uh, yesterday evening around six o'clock um, when police in Austria said they'd received a tip-off from, um, we now know it was American security services, of um, two people who were radicalising and had associated themselves with Islamic State, both uh, Austrian citizens, and they were planning an attack um, on the Taylor Swift concert. The first one was going to start this evening. Two more were to follow. Um, they raided the home of the elder of the two, a 19-year-old Austrian man with uh, parents from uh, from North Macedonia. And uh, I've just uh, been watching a press conference here and the police say they've, um, in, in his home, they discovered a technical apparatus, including um, explosives, sodium peroxide, chemicals, so classic bomb making equipment, cables, detonators, timers, knives, an air pistol, um, fake money uh, and propaganda from Islamic State, the terrorist organization. So they say they had clear in information that he had been radicalizing. They raided his home uh, because they had had a tip off that something was happening and they discovered all of this. And the man is in custody um, and has apparently given a partial confession. A partial confession. Uh, so there was a 17-year-old as well. Do they think there are many more people involved in this plot? Because attacking a concert like this would require a fair amount of logistics, one would imagine. Well, this is the issue. This also came out at the press conference just finished. The, the younger of the two who were who was arrested yesterday, a 17-year-old, um, man, he or youth, I should say, he was actually working for the facility management company that would be um, on the ground. One of the stewards, uh, you know, at these concerts, mm -hmm. there are private firms who employ stewards and he was one of the people. So I, I suppose the fear is that uh, he would be able to wave people into the concert, perhaps with things in their bags that they shouldn't have. The older man, I should say, has said he, he had plans to um, yeah, to detonate a bomb and to take himself and many of the concert goers with him. So from a, from a security perspective in Austria, they face some criticism. Was it really such a threat to cancel the entire concert? 170,000 people disappointed. They said, no, it was a real threat, a present threat. Uh, it was very, very serious. And they were very lucky to have avoided such a tragedy. Um, three concerts, I don't know how many were expected at, at each one, but you're probably looking at uh, over 100,000 people who had yeah, secured some, tickets for uh, these gigs. Some, yeah, three sold-out concerts. Um, and they had the, the Austrian Chancellor has gotten involved. Karl Nehem, I said, a bitter disappointment. But um, many people I've been speaking to have said, look, we'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, there will be, I have no doubt in the coming days, uh, some criticism of the timing of all of this and inquiries as to when do the Americans let the uh, Austrian authorities know? Could they have uh, alerted them sooner and uh, averted the cancellation? Yes, but I mean, this is a major operation and I guess they have to wait until they have what they think is enough to stand up in a court. Uh, from the younger of the two, the 17 year old, they apparently have a full confession that his friend had changed recently, um, that he had quit his job saying he had big plans, I'm quoting him. Um, so it all just seems to have come together um, literally at the last minute. There will be calls whether this could have been cancelled and people wouldn't have had to make the trip, but perhaps um, it was necessary to let it get this far. There'll be lots of armchair experts, but I think the, the Austrians yeah. are really counting their blessings. It was very serious. It was very tight. And if they had, it was going to be almost an inside job if one of the people was actually working for the, the steward company. Um, we all know that that's often um, mm. yeah, the cost questions and security questions play a big role at major events, also in airports. And that's been a question that's been raised in the past. So I'd say there'll be an awful lot of questions asked about who was this firm and how much did they check um, the, the people they've taken on for this concert. And, and the question then as to the motivation, obviously to kill himself and kill as many people as he could with whatever homemade devices they uh, smuggled in, um, that, that would be uh, obviously a catastrophe. But was it anti-Taylor Swift or what Taylor Swift represents or just to make mayhem and cause, I suppose, an unease about every public gathering from here on in? 
Well, it's, um, I'm not sure what, what his views were on Taylor Swift. Um, everyone seems to have strong views on that. But I think the issue really was a major getting the world's attention. This is a, She is a global phenomenon. The tour is a global phenomenon, as we know from Ireland. And Islamic State has slipped from the headlines. There are other conflicts and other battles and other terrorist organizations attracting our attention. This suddenly would have gotten, certainly would have gotten uh, their attention back. Um, I'm not sure if it was really directed at Taylor Swift as yeah. a person or what she represents. Uh, and, and yet, when we look to Southport, where those children were murdered, um, you know, a, a Taylor Swift themed event, even though nothing to do with Taylor Swift herself, it just seems as if they are drawn, people are drawn to this icon and uh, are, you know, targeting her, her image, everything about her as kind of maybe uh, totemic of the West. Well, I mean, that's that's one view. I think another view is I think anyone who's in the terrorism business, they go where the attention is. They go where the eyeballs are. And everyone has been watching Taylor Swift in the last months. Derek, thank you very much uh, for bringing us that up to date report. Uh, that's Derek Scally, Berlin correspondent with The Irish Times.